Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I literally just woke up like probably like 10 minutes ago and realized I'm all out of cold brew and I can't make myself iced coffee and I'm not feeling hot coffee this morning. So I think that's a good excuse to go get Dunkin'. So I'm gonna go get Dunkin'. I'm also gonna try their avocado toast. I, avocado, av why did I say it like that? Avocado toast, I'm gonna be honest, I've never had avocado toast before. And like, I've been meaning to try it and I literally have an avocado at my apartment because I've been like needing to make avocado toast, but I don't have any clue how to. I don't even know how to cut an avocado or like, you know, like get it ready to put on the toast. I don't know how to do that. So I kind of just been putting it off and I figured what better way to try avocado toast for the first time than when I'm getting coffee. Then it's just like a, like a two in one, like a win-win for me, you know? So thought I saw a dog. So I'm gonna do that and then I also have to stop at Walmart because I have to pick up a prescription and I might buy more cold brew there, but then I, I also might just wait like when I go grocery shopping next but I'm on my way to do that um tonight is the Dan and Shay concert at the Jones County Fair and I am going to that with my friends um Nicole you have you guys have met her before she's been on the channel before and then um our friend Morgan probably on the channel and you guys she hasn't been on here before I haven't hung out with her a while but I'm so excited and then Nicole's sister Kristen which love her so we're all going to the concert together. We're meeting at Kristen's house and then just going cause it's like in the same town. So um, yeah, we're super excited cause we all have track tickets to see Dan and Shay. So like hopefully we can be like up close personal, you know? I'm so pumped. This has literally been two years in the making because two summers ago we got our tickets and like, cause that's when they announced Dan and Shay would be at the next fair for the next year. But then the COVID was the next year, so then obviously it didn't happen. So now here we are, two years later, and we're finally getting to go. So that's the plan for tonight. But I have a lot to do today before I head home. I'm hoping to get home like earliest so that I can see the kiddos. I haven't seen them in a while at my house, so hoping I'll have time to hang out with them before I head to Kristen's house. Um, but I still need to pick out like my outfit I'm wearing and also my outfit for the next two days at the fair because because I'm planning on just like staying there. I have to work on Friday. So tomorrow morning I'll go to work and then go back home. I won't even probably go to my apartment. So I'm hoping to just pack everything today and take it home. God, my throat hurts. <coughs> but that's the plan I'm going to Duncan right now and I'll update you when I get there okay so I'm at Walmart now but I just got my Duncan and um I got a medium ice sunrise um of their like sunrise cold brew and then I got the three three pumps of the smoked vanilla syrup and just almond milk in it it's really good but I knew that was gonna be good. Here is for the real reason I'm filming. This is my first look at the toast, okay? It doesn't look very appealing. There's kind of like a chunk of avocado right here. Avocado, you probably can't see it. It smells very seasoned. I don't know why am I kind of scared. This is what it looks like. I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna like this. Here we go.
Wow. The bread is good. I don't like it. is my thing. I feel like it tastes what like what it's supposed to taste like, but I think I might not just I just don't like avocado. I love guacamole, but I don't think I like that. And now I'm really sad because the bread was really good, but yeah, that's sad. I just called. Oh my god, what is going on with my throat? <coughs> I just called the pharmacy, and they're gonna bring out my prescription to me. But I'm kind of debating on if I should go into Target and maybe look for maybe a shirt or a skirt or something because I don't know. I don't like any of the clothes I have. And my grandma got me a gift card to Target for my birthday. So like it would be good if I spent it on clothes because it's a birthday present, you know? So I'm kind of debating on if I should do that. But it's a no-go on the avocado toast for me. I'm really sad because I really wanted to be one of those girls that like made cute avocado toast in the mornings for breakfast. Oh, this lady's bringing me my prescription. Talk to you in a sec. Okay, got my prescription. But I think I am gonna go to Target and just look around, see what they have for clothes and see if anything catches my eye. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go home and probably make a to-do list so that I can keep track of all the things I need to do this morning. But yeah, I will talk to you in Target, I guess. I look like a trash ball. And like Target's not like Walmart where you can walk in with pajamas and like not even have anyone take a second look at you. So like hopefully it's not super busy in here because I actually look like a trash ball. I'm home now, so we're gonna do a little Targi haul before I start doing productive stuff. So, this is what we got my prescription, and then I got I showed you guys this when I was in the fitting room, but it is so cute and it literally fits me so good. Like, I have so many like tight little crop tops that I just don't feel comfortable in. But this one's loose and it's a crop top and I absolutely love it. So I got this. Probably will wear it to the fair one of the days. And then I have been seeing these all over TikTok. But every time I go to Target, they don't have them in my size. So they're just these reversible little bralettes. That's one side. And then the other side is just like a scoop neck um, cut. And then the sides of the neck. But it is so cute. And it's in this really pretty like orange color. I absolutely love it. And then, they were having a huge sale on their Essie nail polish for some reason. And I love Essie nail polish. And I feel like it, like, just lasts so much longer than every other nail polish. But it's usually, like, $9 a bottle. And these were, like, 3 So, you know, I already ha I had to stock up. But I got this blue color. Because I'm taking a break from my, my acrylics again. Just because my nails are ruined again. But then I got this, like orange color that I thought would be really cute for like fall or just like a fun mani and then oh my god I keep dropping them I got this hot pink color obsessed probably will do my nails like with that one and then a light pink because like you just can't go wrong with a light pink but that's everything I got shout out to my grandma Rhonda for basically getting me most of the stuff probably like except like two bottles of nail polish but I used my gift card I got from her for my birthday. So thank you. Love you lots. Um, 
I am gonna put this stuff away and then I need to make my bed still because I literally like got up and I was like ducking right away. So I didn't make my bed or anything. But I'm gonna do that and then probably make a to-do list and start getting all my stuff done so I can head home this afternoon. But Okay, yeah. so it looks kind of small, but it is probably gonna take me a while. Um, I already ran errands, so I need to cross that off. But I have pack for home, get ready for the fair, tidy apartment, and paint my nails. Look at these. They're so sad looking. Yeah, they need something done for them. So yeah, um, this is the plan. And then once I get that done, I'm going to head home. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile because you're by my side. And now your eyes. So I'm done getting ready. Um, I just straightened my hair and I put it in two pink shoes. And I was gonna wear the brown shirt that I got at Target today, but I'm gonna save that for like tomorrow or Saturday and wear it with jeans instead. So this is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing tonight. Just this really cute, simple like crop top tank. It just literally is just a ribbed tank. And then these shorts that I got from Target. My absolute favorite shorts. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And so I'm all ready. I have everything packed in my bag and I'm probably gonna head home soon. The kids don't wake up from their nap until 2.30. So as long as I leave by like 1.30, then it'll be fine. Um, I also want to show you guys, look at how cute these earrings are. So they like go behind, oh, cute. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to go to the fair. I'm literally so excited. But um, since I'm done getting ready, I will probably just update you when I start. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out. But, um, I am all loaded up and I'm heading home and hopefully the kids are awake when I get there. I'm so excited to see them. I miss them so much and my family, of course. But, yeah, I'm heading home now and it'll be about 45 minutes till I get there and I'll update you when I get there. You said come over. I could not wait to show you. Okay, so. I just got Mighty Nicole's tickets from her mom because they were at her house. Um, it's so bright out here. The lighting's so bad. I want to put my sunglasses on, but I don't want to have like those annoying like sunglass marks on my nose. So I'm just gonna tuck it out. But I am heading to Nicole's sister's house, um, Kristen's, and we're gonna wait for Nicole, and then we're all gonna head to the fair together. But I already got cashed out because um, I think they only take cash at the fair, so I needed cash. And so that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna jam to Dan and Shay my way there, you know, pre-game for the concert and, you know, get a little reminder of all the songs. That way I can be like fully living the experience. So that's what we're doing. Also, I'm about to put this on. I need to put you guys on this lip gloss. It's the Maybelline Lifter, Glo Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It is so freaking awesome so i got the color wreath um there's other ones that have like more sparkles in it so it's like a little bit more glossy but i got this one and it's not as glossy which is what i like it's this really pink like natural pink um nude color but i absolutely love it and it's literally like the same color of my shirt you can't really see but like that's what it is so that's what we got I'm gonna put this on, jam to Dan and Shay, and I will update you when I get to Kristen's. Taken, 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 baby.
Because you know what? We were very glad after not playing for a very long time. We're very glad that you guys exist. So, let's do this, guys. Are you ready? Here's to a late night jump phone calls that you picked up. Here's to all the bad decisions that you made and judged. All the love you, the hate you, the secrets that you told me. Here's to everyone but mostly I.
us out as long as we possibly can. This is the coolest thing in the entire world to see your faces, to hear your voices, to be together again. We've waited so long for this. And so I thank y'all from the bottom of our hearts for making this such a special night. But Monticello, we're not done yet. You got one song left, can you? I put y'all up to a little challenge earlier, and you guys, you passed with flying colors. You succeeded. You sang all of our songs louder than they've ever been sung in the history of these songs. But now, this is a big challenge, Monticello. The song that we're about to play completely changed our lives. We played this thing all around the world. We played it for some amazing, amazing folks. And we've heard some, some incredible folks sing this song very, very loudly. But Monticello, I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of faith in each and every one of you tonight. And we can exceed that. And we can sing this next song louder than it has ever been sung before. Do you have our backs, Monticello? I feel good about this. I feel really good about this. <laughs> I want to delay this as long as possible because I never want to leave Monticello in my whole life. I want to leave here. <laughs> Monticello! The biggest dramatic is humanly possible here. Monticello, I'm going to bring the level to zero right now. We are Dan and Shay, and this song is called Tequila. <laughs> Okay, guest star for the outro this week is Nicole. Last week it was Keegan, but now we got Nicole. I don't even know which one is Dan and which one is Shay. <laughs>
I'm back at my apartment and it is Tuesday now. So the fair has been over for a few days. But I just wanted to pop on here and just say like thank you for watching and subscribe as always. I had a great time at the fair. I can't wait for next year and hopefully I'll be able to vlog it again for you guys. I'm not 100% positive what my next video will be, but it should be up next Tuesday. Um, I plan on to keep posting once a week, Tuesdays, sometime during the day, Tuesday. But yeah, fair was fun. I had a lot of fun bringing you guys along with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.